I'm Ashley Dvorkin with the Fox 411 RottenTomatoes.com weekend box office preview. I'm joined by editor-in-chief of RottenTomatoes.com, Matt Atchity in L.A. Welcome, Matt. Happy Friday. Oh, thank you. So let's kick things off with the Jennifer Lopez-led thriller, The Boy Next Door. So, Matt, what is this one all about, and where does it rank on the tomato meter? Uh, yeah, Jennifer Lopez plays a high school English teacher uh, who has been relatively recently separated from her husband. Uh, she's got a teenage boy living in the house with her. Uh, and she ends up kind of having this weird attraction to the older teenager that lives next door. Uh, he's 19 years old. He's played by uh, Ryan Guzman, and he's beautiful in this movie. Uh, Jennifer Lopez also looks gorgeous. This is probably as best as she's looked in a movie, uh, maybe since Out of Sight. Uh, unfortunately, the critics don't really like this movie. Uh, you know, they have this brief fling, uh, Jennifer Lopez and Ryan Guzman, and then he won't leave her alone, and it becomes this kind of erotic thriller as he kind of stops. Her. Uh, the critics say that this movie is pretty dopey. Uh, the script doesn't make a lot of sense. The performances are fine here, but it's it's a movie that is so dumb it kind of beggars belief, and so it's rotten at 15% on the tomato meter. And yet, not the lowest score on the tomato meter this week. No. We always start with the top nope. ranking film. So let's go from there. Yeah. Next, we have one for the whole family. It's a musical fairy tale by George Lucas, Strange Magic. So tell us about this animated adventure and what the critics have to say about it. Uh, yeah, Strange Magic is a musical uh, animated adventure loosely based on Shakespeare's Midsummer Night's Dream. Uh, you've got fairies that uh, kind of run afoul of the darker forces in the forest. Uh, love potions kind of complicate things. Uh, you've got a lot of pop music that shows up in this movie, a lot of songs um, that people will recognize, both adults, because you get a lot of like 60s soul hits, mm -hmm. and then you get some more modern music. Uh, the animation in this film is gorgeous, and this is a different type of character design than anything we've seen in a while. Uh, I loved the animation here. I think it's a very immersive, very well-realized movie. Mm -hmm. uh, the story, however, leaves a lot to be desired. The critics don't like the story. They say it doesn't make a lot of sense. Uh, the music, they don't like the way it's put into the movie. Uh, critics hate this one even more than The Boy Next Door. Uh, and so it's rotten at 13% on the tomato meter. All right, 13%. And some of, there are famous voices also uh, performing those musical tunes. We've got Kristen Chenoweth, Alan Cumming, um, Evan Rachel Wood. So just, uh, just adding that, that's the cast. It's still at 13%, but I agree with you. The animation does look fantastic. Um, next, we have a star-studded, quirky, comedic caper. Matt, who is Mordecai? And tell me what this movie is all about with Johnny Depp. Uh, Mordecai is a charming but dim-witted art dealer who gets involved in an international art heist. Uh, this is a movie that is going for kind of that 60s era caper movie. Uh, Gwyneth Paltrow is also in this, Ewan McGregor, uh, Johnny Depp, and that excellent mustache uh, in this <laughs> film. Uh, you know, he's playing a character that isn't far off uh, Peter Sellers' uh, Inspector Clouseau. Unfortunately, critics say that this movie kind of reminds them of the worst of the Clouseau movies, and they're drawing comparisons to the 1967 disastrous Casino Royale film, uh, which is a spoof of James Bond and is widely seen as one of the worst movies of all time. Uh, critics really hate this movie. It was hardly screened, I have to say. So we've only got a handful of reviews right now. Um, it wasn't really screened very widely. And as we know, Ashley, nobody really hides a good movie. So critics say this one's pretty dumb. It's not very funny. Uh, kind of a waste of talent all around. A lowly 9% on the tomato meter right now. All right, there it is. Uh, but we're going to do our Rotten Tomatoes Roadshow, which is a look at past certified fresh films on the tomato meter. And we're going to take our cue from Johnny Depp with all of his memorable characters that he's played on screen. So, Matt, let's start with Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. How did that one do? Uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory is a pretty well-received movie. Uh, you know, there were a lot of trepidation going into that because Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory with Gene Wilder is such a great movie. Uh, and people were worried about this remake, but this one is a solid remake. Uh, we see that uh, the critics really like it. Certified Fresh at 83%, directed by Tim Burton. Uh, there are musical numbers in it, but it's a little bit different than the original. It's definitely its own film and a very memorable performance by Johnny Depp here. Of course. And another one, we cannot leave Captain Jack Sparrow off the list. Savvy? How did Pirates of the Caribbean Curse of the Black Pearl do on the tomato meter? 
Uh, yeah, this is another movie, Ashley, that I think critics were shocked that it was that good. Uh, it's basically based on the ride from Disneyland, the Pirates of the Caribbean. Uh, this is a great adventure movie. Uh, Johnny Depp stars as the main, one of the main characters, Captain Jack Sparrow. Uh, you know, he's basically doing uh, Keith Richards' imitation for the whole film. Mm -hmm. But boy, he's hilarious in this. Probably his most memorable role of all time. Uh, certified Fresh, 79% on the tomato meter. The next few movies in this series may not be as good, but boy, it's worth watching Johnny Depp continue to do this character. Absolutely. And then finally, 1997's Donnie Brasco. Uh, yeah, Donnie Brasco, uh, great crime drama uh, based on a true story about a FBI agent that went in deep, deep cover uh, as a member of the mafia. Uh, this is a fantastic movie, wonderful nuanced performance. You know, we're used to seeing Johnny Depp do all these over-the-top characters. Uh, he plays it really small here opposite the great uh, Al Pacino. Uh, look at this movie um, really kind of as a great example of the mafia genre. 87% uh, on the tomato meter, certified fresh, really a must-see movie. Matt, thank you so much as always. Have a great weekend. Uh, thanks for having me. And for more on all of these films, see RottenTomatoes.com. Also, check out Fox411.com for our movie previews and cast interviews. Thanks for watching. For Fox411, I'm Ashley Dvorkin.